Hey everybody, this is Otis Campbell, and uh, this pre-calculus lesson is on graphing rational functions. So you're going to be introduced to what's uh, asymptotes. Let's take care of board problem 20. So name and classify the extrema in the figure. Okay, so the extrema, we just got done discussing um, relative mins and maxes and absolute mins and maxes. Okay, so, and then uh, we're going to use our graphing calculator to do the same on this one right here. Okay, so here I have a relative minimum here at x equals looks like negative 1, y equals 3. Here I have a relative max at x equals 0, y equals 4. Here's another um, uh, uh, absolute minimum right there because that's the lowest it goes right there. Okay, so um, uh, absolute minimum at, uh, looks like that's at 1.5 comma negative 1.9, I guess. I don't know. I would have said negative 2, you guys. And then you got a, a relative uh, max at 0, 4 and a relative min at negative 1, 3. We got those ones right. Okay, and we're going to put those that uh, equation in the graphing calculator. Go ahead and plug it in into your y equals in the top left-hand corner. If you have another equation in there, clear it out. Make sure you're only doing this one right here. Uh, okay, and then um, uh, make sure you have this as your x scale. So hit your window and then put, do your x scale negative 5 to 5 and your scale 1. So that means these tick marks are 1. So this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And then my, my uh, y scale, my negative 10 to 15 and the scale is 5. So there's my negative 5, negative 10, 5, 10, um, uh, scale's 15. So uh, anyways, um, Scale's 5. Wow, something's a little bit goofy on that right there. Anyway, you should have a picture that kind of looks like that. That's just a little bit off for me. Okay, and you get a relative max at uh, negative 1, 6 and a relative min at uh, 1, 2. Okay, uh, Okay. so let's go ahead and use our graphing calculator to graph uh, this guy. So go ahead and plug in uh, into y equals, so clear out the other one, and then plug in y equals and then put parentheses, 3x minus 1, close parentheses, and then hit divided by parentheses x minus 2. Okay, and then graph that, and you should get a graph that looks kind of like that. Okay, now what happens is, is this graph is is asymptotically getting close to a horizontal line right here. Remember the word asymptote from algebra two. There's another asymptote going right here, right down here. Okay, this asymptote right here is found by letting the denominator equal zero. X minus two equals zero, so this asymptote was right here at x equals two. Okay, and this, uh, this, this horizontal asymptote is y equals 3. I'll show you why in just a second. Uh, okay, so asymptotes are those lines that the graph infinitely gets close to, but usually doesn't touch. Sometimes it does, but usually doesn't touch. I put never, but it does sometimes. It just barely crosses them sometimes, and uh, we'll find out later. So to find the vertical asymptote, you set the denominator equal to 0. Okay, to find the horizontal asymptote, uh, you first divide the numerator and denominator, uh, by everything by the highest power of x and then you let x approach infinity then simplify so for example find the asymptotes of section a so I'm going to divide everything by by x okay okay first of all the, the horizontal is x minus 2 equals 0 so x equals 2 okay so the vertical asymptote is x equals 2 it's always where the denominator equals 0 it gives me my verticals and so for the horizontals I divide everything by x because that's my highest power of x if I saw x squared in there, I divide everything by x squared. Okay, so everything divided by x, I get this right here. And then when x goes to infinity, you guys, I think they had to have that over here. Yeah, when x goes to infinity, the value 1 over x and 2 over x approach 0. Because 1 over infinity is 0. And 2 over infinity is 0. So what happens is, is these drop off. And you're left with 3 over 1. So your, horizon your horizontal asymptote is y equals 3 over 1 or y equals 3 okay so there's my asymptotes you guys x equals uh, uh, 2 right there uh, I'm sorry y equals 3 right there sorry that's this one and then x equals 2 is that one right there okay the verticals are always what makes the denominator equal 0 okay let's do that with this one okay the vertical is x equals 1 the horizontal is x over x which is 1 so you get uh, the vertical and horizontal to be both be 1 right there okay uh, now, you guys, when x goes to infinity, this minus 1 becomes insignificant, and you're left with x over x. Okay, infinity over infinity is the same as infinity over infinity minus 1. I mean, if you're talking about infinity dollars, who cares if I have infinity dollars or infinity dollars minus 1? It's the same. 
you guys. So they, what ends up happening is this, this minus one becomes insignificant. So, so your horizontals are, uh, you reduce your leading coefficients x over x right there, so you get y equals one. Okay, so use the parent graph of f of x is one over x to graph each function and describe the transformations and give an asymptote. Okay, we've already graphed y equals one over x before, and it gave us this graph right here. Notice the vertical asymptote is x equals zero because you can't have zero in the denominator. And the horizontal is y equals 0. We'll discuss that one in the next lesson. But this, this is y equals 0 also. Okay, so we're going to use this graph, y equals 1 over x, and we're going to translate some stuff. So here's number 1. Okay, g of x is 1 over x plus 5. Okay, when the number is with hanging out with the x like this one is, then you do the opposites. So I'm going to take this graph and just shift it to the left 5. It's going to be this graph to the left 5. There it is right there. Can you see it? Okay, it's the same graph, but to the left 5. Okay, so your new vertical asymptote is x is equal to negative 5. Your horizontal is still y equals 0. It doesn't change. Okay, how about number 2? Okay, negative 2 over x. Okay, remember, here's y equal uh, 1 over x. Okay, this negative, what this negative is going to do is flip it upside down. This blue stuff down here is going to go up here, and this blue stuff up here is going to go down here. And this negative 2 is just going to make it stretch vertically by 2. Okay, so there it is, right there. Okay, and your asymptotes are still zero right there because I don't have anything else. Uh, I don't have like a plus five over here or down here like a minus two or something. Okay, so the verticals are still zero. Okay, this one, this one changes a little bit, you guys. Okay, don't forget, there's one over x. This one's going to be shifted to the left two, down four, and this negative is going to flip it. Okay, so to the left two, down four, and flip it. There it is. All right, so your vertical um, asymptote is x is equal to negative 2. Your horizontal asymptote is y equals negative 4 right there. All right, and uh, what else do I have for you? Slant asymptotes. Okay, slant asymptotes. We're going to do that in the next lesson, you guys, because I, I just run out of time. It's a big lesson itself.